Hello everybody, getting ready to do lesson 4.3 of 6th grade math, part 1. And today we got a 32 point skill sheet for classwork today. And we have two points here of note taking, 4.3 dividing mixed numbers, here's your standard. It is part 1. Okay everybody, we're getting ready to do our bell work here. Uh, teachers, give your students about three, four minutes for the use division and multiplication. We have a subtraction here. Looks like even some of this is already done for you students. Your lucky day. Three to four minutes. Okay, but I'll come back. Three over seven for number one up here. Invert and multiply. Invert and multiply. Eight over five times this. Up here, nine over seven times that. Then here, just multiply straight across. And then down here with our subtraction, make both these over 30. So you have 48 over 30 uh, minus 25 over 30. That equals 23 over 30 there. Into our lesson, how do you divide mixed numbers? This is our essential question. Then our explore activity will be modeling mixed number division. Okay, first classwork page here, students, on your classwork sheet. Antone is making uh, sushi rolls. He has two and a half cups of rice and will use one quarter cup of rice for each sushi roll. How many sushi rolls can he make? So he has uh, two and a quarter cups and he will use a quarter cup per sushi roll. So find number of sushi rolls that can be made. You need to to determine how many fourths are in two and a half. Use, use a fraction uh, to represent two and a half on a model below. So here is a model here for two and one half. And it's divided up in fourths here. We have four fourths per one whole. And then one half has two one fourth. Uh, portions to it. So that'd be one way of dividing up uh, two and a half by four. How many fourths are in two and a half is a question. Antone has enough rice to make blank sushi rolls. So there are ten there are ten fourths in two and a half. So he has enough to make ten sushi rolls here. <clears throat> Classwork reflect now. Which mathematical operation could you use to find the number of sushi rolls that Anton can make? Explain. So which mathematical operation could you use? So, and multiple representations, write the division shown by the model. <clears throat> so remember that model back in the previous slide. Write the division shown for that. So you use division. You're dividing the total amount of rice by the amount needed for each sushi row. So it'd be two and a half divided by one fourth equals ten. How do we get that? Well, two and a half is what five halves divided by one fourth. So to divide, we invert our divisor and multiply. So it'd be five halves times four over one would be uh, twenty. Twenty over two which equals 10. That would be how you would divide this number here. What if, uh, suppose Antone used one eighth of a cup for each sushi row. How could this change his model? How would this change his model? And how many rows can he make? Explain. So he would need to change his model to divide now by eight. So the total number of rows he can make would be 20 because he would double what he had originally, which was 10, which is twice as many as one quarter. <clears throat> so he'd have 20 now, is what he would have. If he used one eighth, which is one half of one fourth, right? <clears throat> Using reciprocals to, di to divide mixed numbers, divided by a fraction is equivalent to multiplying by its reciprocal. You can use this fact to divide mixed numbers. First, rewrite the mixed number as a as fractions greater than one, then multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. What in the world is that? <clears throat> Let's do a couple here. Example one here. 
Serving one serving of Harold's favorite cereal contains one and two fifths ounces. How many servings are in 17 and a half ounce box? So how will we figure that one out? <clears throat> Write division statement to represent the situation. So we have 17 and a half ounce box divided by one and two fifth ounces for each serving. So how do we divide this? We write the mixed numbers as fractions greater than 1. So 17 1 half becomes 17 times 2 plus 1 is 35 over 2. And then 1 times 5 plus 2 is 7 over 5, correct? So we're going to divide 35 over 2 divided by 7 over 5. Okay, so to do this division, what we're going to do here is we're going to rewrite the problem as a multiplication using the reciprocal of the divisor. So here's our divisor here. We call flip this or invert this and multiply. So it's going to be 35 over 2 times 5 over 7. And this is the explanation of invert and multiply. That's a fancy way of saying this. Now flip this, which is your divisor, and then multiply. So when we multiply, we get uh, 35 times 5. And when we do some canceling here, the 7 will cancel with 35. And then we, so we have 5 times 5 over 2. <clears throat> 5 times 5 over 2 is 25 seconds or 12 and a half. So that would be the amount there that we would have from our division. There are 12 and a half servings of cereal in the box by using the division of mixed numbers. So what do we do here? Explain how you can check the answer to that division problem. How could you check the answer? Well, multiplication is the inverse of division. So multiply 12 and 1 half times 1 and 2 fifths. Since 12 and 1 half times 1 and 2 fifths equals 17 and 1 half, the answer is correct. So you would multiply your answer times your divisor here, 1 and 2 fifths. 12 and 1 half times 1 and 2 fifths equals the original amount in the cereal box itself, which would be that. So it would be 24, it would be 25 halves times uh, 7 fifths would equal 17 and 1 half, which is 35 halves. So what if Harold serves himself 1 and 1 half ounces? servings of cereal each morning. How many servings does he get from the box of his favorite cereal? Show your work. So instead of one and two fifths, he chooses a one and one half ounce serving instead of that. So how many servings would he get from that? So you have 17 and one half now divided by one and one half. What would be the solution to that? So it would be 35 halves uh, divided by 3 halves, so it'll be 35 times 2 over 3, right? So it'll be 70 over something. I can't do it all mentally. So you would get, eventually your answer should be 11 and 2 thirds. After you do your arithmetic, your math there, check it on the board. There's room here to check it. And uh, teachers, you can do this for your students here. If you have a smart board or even a whiteboard, you can check this answer here. Show your work. So write each answer in simplest form. So we're going to divide these now. <clears throat> so 4 and a quarter divided by 3 fourths. This is our divisor here. What is this number as a mixed number is a question. So what would we do? And then you know what to do here, right? So students, do this. This is on your class worksheet. So 4 times 4 is 16 plus 1 is 17 fourths divided by 3 over 4. So it will be 17 fourths times what? We invert and multiply. So it will be 4 thirds. And then what does this become? What's 4 times 7? Over 12. So it will be 68 over 12 which when you um, make it into a mixed number it'd be five and two thirds. You should be getting the students. Teachers, you can embellish this on your smart board. Now we have one and one half divided by two and a quarter. 
So what do we do here? We make these into mixed numbers. What does one and one half become? It becomes something, and then we do our invert and multiply here, and then that becomes our solution. So somebody come to the smart board and fill in these blanks, please. So this is 3 halves divided by 9 fourths. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9 fourths. And then we invert and multiply, right? 3 halves times 4 ninths. And what does that equal here? You get 2 thirds as your final answer there. And that is lesson 4.3, part 1, part 2, part 3, available here, as well as tests, worksheets, tutoring, solution PowerPoints, everything that you want for 6th grade math. Thank you.